just another short haul flight. Marie and other passengers get ready for their short trip from London to Amsterdam. What she did not know was that this day the world would change. A regional jet first climbs high up to commercial flight levels to fit into the air traffic control system and because its jet engines burn less fuel, the higher up they are. As Marie's aircraft leveled off at the top of its climb, zap, a muscle in her chest twitched. Zap, Marie could really feel something strange was happening inside her body. She could even see it. The muscle just to the left of her breastbone was visibly pulsating, weirdly convulsing with the rhythm of an out of control heartbeat. Fear gripped her. She knew immediately that something was wrong with her heart. Maria lives a normal life thanks to a pacemaker a small medical device implanted in her chest that uses programmed electrical impulses to steady her heartbeat. The device has been made to work perfectly just for her. Could one of the wires that connected the pacemaker to her heart be damaged? Or did it come loose? Marie alerted the cabin crew. Bling. The flight was now starting its descent into Amsterdam, so landing there was a better option than diverting to a different airport. The crew quickly arranged for an ambulance to be ready and waiting for her at the gate. When Maria arrived at a nearby hospital, doctors poured over her. A pacemaker technician soon found the problem. It was the gadget's tiny computer, Data stored inside the pacemaker's computer, programmed specifically for Marie's heart, had somehow become corrupted. But why had Marie's pacemaker gone so badly wrong, reverting to a generic standby pulse and losing all her personal data? The pacemaker's manufacturer had seen this happen before. As soon as they heard that the unit had failed during a flight, they had a prime suspect. The most likely event that sparked this unsettling episode was a cosmic ray from outer space, a chain of subatomic particles slamming into one another high up in Earth's atmosphere like balls colliding on a snooker table, with one unfortunately slamming into Marie's pacemaker mid-flight. The theory is that, upon impact, it caused an electrical imbalance that altered the pacemaker's computer memory. These incidents are called single event upsets. They have been singled out as the possible culprits behind numerous extraordinary cases of computer failure. From a vote counting machine that added thousands of non-existent votes to a candidate's tally, to a commercial airliner that suddenly dropped hundreds of feet mid-flight, injuring dozens of passengers. But where do these cosmic bullets come from? Giant ejections from the sun can sometimes send huge waves of particles towards Earth. A single burst might cause millions of corrupted data failures to programs stored on computers. Inside a computer's memory, data is stored in the form of bits, often referred to as ones and zeros. Single event upsets occur in computer circuits when high energy particles or gamma rays strike the silicon used in microchips. This generates an electrical charge that can change the internal voltage of nearby transistors, corrupting the data stored there. 
RAM memory stores bits in either a charged or partially charged memory state. A cosmic ray can add electrons to the RAM's transistors, turning zeros into ones, so corrupting the program's software. When the main computer calls on the stored instructions, the corrupted RAM sends out a string of garbage, which the computer either misinterprets, ignores, or causes it to crash. In some cases, these events can destroy the microelectronics completely, rendering the computer useless. But it can also lead to temporary changes that affect the machine's behavior. A bit flip isn't something that's actually visible to a computer user, though they will probably notice the consequences. The computer is expecting a clear set of instructions, but if just one bit is corrupted, the program can't run. That's disappointing at home, but imagine a cosmic particle corrupting data for a flight control computer. That's exactly what happened over North West Australia. In 2008, a Qantas Airways flight fell hundreds of feet, twice, within 10 minutes, injuring dozens of unseatbelted passengers on board. There was no warning to the flight crew. The Airbus fly-by-wire computer received corrupt data that caused a flight control conflict. Trying to save the aircraft from a possible stall, the computer forced the nose down, putting the plane into a steep dive. Twice, something had corrupted the data stored in the Airbus computer. Air crash investigators thought a single point error caused by a stray cosmic ray changing the value of a single stored bit was to blame. But the uncontrolled dive might have been caused by a secret, man-made source of interference. The Qantas flight suffered the computer corruption right above the Southern Hemisphere's largest ELF submarine communication antenna. To this day, no one really knows what happened that caused the computer corruption. What we do know is cosmic radiation increases with altitude, mainly because our atmosphere helps to shield us from the majority of it. But charged particles do reach the surface of the Earth and can change our lives in extraordinary ways. There was the case of the voting machine in Belgium that gave a political candidate an extra 4,096 votes. Somehow the voting machine turned a small number into the winning vote. It was spotted by a smart mathematician who knew that the number 4096 is a binary integer in the power of two counting system. That was far too much of a coincidence to be true. And a Mario game that jumped the player to a higher level, sending its player into the game world of fame. These cosmic glitches are real, and NASA takes them seriously. They saw that whenever the space shuttle flew over the so-called South Atlantic Anomaly, an area of weak magnetic protection, shuttle astronauts reported their phones, laptops and watches malfunctioned. So spaceflight ready computers are now hardened to single point cosmic ray errors. Amazingly, older PCs are less prone to these errors. Today on Mars, the safest computer for a surface exploring rover is a basic 20 year old PC. Modern computers might be faster, but the tried and tested old design is the safest option. And this is where you come in. You and I might hold a key to understanding or even predicting cosmic ray damaging events. We all occasionally get this, the computer screen of death. 
When users' computers crash, they automatically send millions of reports to the software developers. By analyzing this big metadata, researchers have spotted trends in single point errors. Scientists are mapping these events to highlight Earth's dangerous hotspots that can wipe out your phone or upset your pacemaker. What they found is high altitudes, flying, and living in Argentina seem initially the most dangerous options for flipping single point errors. But an event so devastating has occurred in the past and will occur again in our future. The Carrington event was the perfect alignment between a large solar particle ejection storm and our planet. The sun burps out charged particles all the time, but most miss the Earth because simply we're not in the wrong place at the wrong time. But now and again, everything comes horribly together and the Earth is zapped by enough cosmic particles to send self-driving Teslas, heart pacemakers and Game Boy computers back to the Stone Age. By looking at the metadata from millions of computers, we are learning to protect bits and bytes from cosmic corruption. And so just maybe, we can be more prepared for the next cosmic wave of death. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The truth is out there.